Overcrowding has not been an issue for Quezon City's vaccination program. With a strict online appointment policy, residents like actress Meryl Soriano got their shots hassle-free. Napakabilis. Um, even yung first dose, mabilis din. So very organized naman dito. So we're very happy. For those without internet access, QC also has a barangay-assisted registration. This benefited senior citizens like Alicia Datuin. Yung online, alam mo, yung mga younger generation, kayang-kaya, pagkagaya namin senior, medyo ano eh, uh, computer illiterate yung iba. <laughs> Lalo na kami. Walk-in Quezon City residents are instead put in a substitution list. Those in the list replace those who cancelled their appointment. Kasi minsan pagka hindi ho nakakadating ang mga na sa online or na-defer, we have a substitution list pero dapat nasa same category po. So far, Quezon City leads the vaccination race with the highest inoculation turnout. It had administered 42,000 doses on Tuesday, a record high for a single day. They are also the first LGU to have vaccinated more than half a million recipients with the first dose, while 161,000 have been fully inoculated with a second dose. The Quezon City LGU says they are not competing with other LGUs. Mataas ang interest at the moment ng mga citizens ng Quezon City na mabakunahan. No? So obviously in walk-in at the moment in Quezon City, hindi muna namin kaya kasi baka mamayang konti makompromise naman yung mga minimum health standards. And true enough, in the city of Manila, the walk-in system proves to be more effective. They reached a city best on Tuesday of 35,572 doses administered in one day. In Mandaluyong City, those who secured online appointments get Pfizer vaccines, while walk-ins get Sinovac. They have more than 178,000 doses administered to date. In Caloocan City, over 322,000 have already received their first and second dose. While in Navotas, more than 80,000 are already vaccinated. For News 5, Patricia Mangunin, We Are One News.